from uh, medical oncology department from jipmer i did my md radiation oncology from manipal karnataka uh, so most of my training is within the cancer only so first of all it's just about the awareness of cancer based on an occasion february 15th world cancer day uh, how it will present and uh, how you have to approach and what are lifestyle modifications you have to make to make it uh, incidence in a uh, incidence re reduce its incidence within the community so first of all what is cancer cancer is like uh, any cell within the body which loses its control when uh, control and multiplies multiplies multi multiplies in an un uncontrolled fashion it is called as cancer it can develop in any place within the body for suppose if you have a wound normally it will get healed within some 5 days 6 days 7 days it will heal but how come a wound knows that it has it has to heal until that extent and it won't grow more than that there will be a program within the body the dna will understand until what extent it has to multiply and what extent it has not to multiply everything will be properly programmed with the dna but the cancer cells the dna rearrangement everything changes and the cell loses its control of its multiplication and it will multiply 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 it will increase in size so it doesn't have any control whatever you do it will go on multiplying some say it is an disorganized network of uh, random dna elements but i say it is not a disorganized network it is very organized DNA rearrangement of making it cells to multiply and they thrive for survival. They will take away all the nutrition within the body. They will take away all the energy within the body and they will multiply out of them. So they won't have any control and they will kill other cells. Taking all the nutrition from the body, other cells will get their nutrition in a lesser extent. So cancer will be a main problem and it will spread to other body parts also. So how will a cancer present most commonly? For example, in children, um, it might present like some bone swelling, suddenly one bone area he will be having, one child might be having pain and it will start increasing in size. Have any one of you seen before? No, no. So it's not that uncommon, it is a common outside whenever you see some bone area they will get one small swelling and it will increase in size. Some children will have small nodes, small swellings in the neck and it will go on increasing in size. It might present uh, some of the leukemias, lymphomas, uh, like blood cancer, can present with small nodes and they will increase in size. Some of the children they will present with uh, gum bleeding, teeth bleeding from the gums, regular fevers uh, over months together. They will check for malaria, dengue, all together. Everything will be negative, but still they will having persistent fevers, fever spikes, which is uh, uh, and some uh, some children will be not growing properly and they will have weakness uh, regular absent uh, they will be uh, they will be absent to the school regularly because of fevers if you in those children most of the times they will present the cancer children will present in such a manner it doesn't mean you get two fever spikes you have cancer it is not like that it's like that i just wanted to make you aware that cancer is one of the disease which is present in the society which we have to be aware of it doesn't mean we have two fever spikes and uh, two fever we have got and we have cancer. It's not like that. And we have a small swelling here, we have cancer. It is not like that. And uh, it is like some something which is growing fast and any new onset, newly suddenly one small swelling appeared here or suddenly a child has got intra-abdominal, inside the stomach there is one mass increasing in size, some abdominal distension is there, any children, you have to know that it might be possibility of cancer and it has to be addressed by doctor immediately has to be taken to the doctor and just evaluate once whether it is any problem is there or not you have to check that one 
so in adult patients cancer more children is also common even in adult patients like breast cancer cervix cancer and uh, blood cancer many cancers it affects every part of the body it can be in brain children will have brain tumors adults will have brain tumors brain tumors is also common brain cancer is common like that cancers are can can occur in any part of the body it is not like that it has to occur in one part of the body other parts it won't it is not like that anywhere it can occur so mainly what is the cause of cancer the most common cause which we found it is lifestyle changes some once upon a time it is not so common which it is very evident today is lifestyle changes so one is stress depending upon the occupational stress which we are having stress might cause cancer our daily life is very stressful stress is one of the leading cause of the cancer and second thing is our food which we are taking leafy vegetables fruits regular leafy vegetables fruits in our diet is most important it will prevent most of the intestine related cancers most of the junk food high fatty food red red meat all these things will cause intestinal type of cancers so over a long time regularly if we are taking red meat regularly if we are taking high uh, unsaturated fatty acids it will cause intestine related cancers over a period of time it doesn't mean one time we eat we will get that cancer it is not like that regularly in our diet if we are persistent eating such sort of foods junk foods they will lead to cancer so leafy vegetables fresh fruits fresh vegetables is most important it is very important and vitamin a uh, rich diet is important in in our food so it, it we have to take it regularly and second thing is viral related infections also can cause cancer like uh, human papilloma virus so human papilloma virus normally it will infect everyone it doesn't mean it, it we are all infected with human papilloma virus so some are they, those are minor ones only but over a long period of time over 20 years 30 years human papilloma virus can turn into malignancies in some of the uh, areas where uh, Uh, the immune immunity is a little bit deficient or over a period of time over 20 to 40 years they might develop cervical cancers penile cancers some skin related cancers human papilloma virus is common so this is one of the cervical cancer is one of the co- most common cancer in india human papilloma virus is the cause for cervical cancer and how to eliminate it from the how to prevent it is also important within the countries like india so you have to be aware that is there is one entity called cancer and how it will present like abdominal distension regular fevers any swelling on the neck those things you have to be aware of and second thing is how to prevent that one prevent one mainly lifestyle modification reduce stress in the work environment it it has to be begin from the early childhood from the time you start from your early childhood itself this awareness has to increase and your food modification lifestyle modifications daily exercises all these things are important from the early child you can't make it within a day when you are 30 years old when you are 40 years old we can't make it within a day it has to come over a period of time uh, you have to eat fresh vegetables daily exercises uh, reduce your stress uh, don't keep much stress in our work environment these things are important uh. and this human papilloma virus how to prevent that one uh. vaccines are there to prevent human papilloma virus it has been given for uh, uh, children who are less than 18 years old to prevent in future to get a human papilloma virus related cancers and it has shown efficacy and it has shown benefit uh. other one is regular uh, screening tests uh, for women greater than 35 years age group regularly screening them then prevent the um, identify the cancer immediately and treat the cancer one is prevention prevention is like you identify you you check regularly prevent it from occurring a cancer and second thing is when you get when somebody gets the cancer how to treat the cancer that is important in pediatric we will tell blood cancers blood cancer is curable in 70% of the children 70% of the children if proper treatment they take the treatment 70% of the children they get cured of the blood cancer it's not like that it is not curable it is like normal other diseases only we can treat them and we can cure them and it will one doubt is there regularly in many of the people whether it spreads from one one children to other children whether to one person to other person it's not like that it's not like that cancer as of now today's knowledge none of the cancers will spread from one person if one one of the cancer related child got treatment and he comes to the school it doesn't mean that cancer will spread from one children to other children it is not like that he his cancer won't trouble any of the children who are surrounding surrounding him it won't spread from one person and second thing is most of the cancer related children will be 
lot of treatment they will get and they will be most of the times uh, uh, going to the hospital getting treatment uh, they will be little bit depressed and uh, they will be weak they need lot of social support from within you with the new people all the students should be support to the, the children who are getting treatment from cancer and all the teachers should support the children who are getting the transfer they can daily come to the school they can go they can get their study they can go on go through their daily schooling it's not like that they can't get their schooling they get the treatment and they can continue their education there is no such thing like cancer related children they can't come to school and they can continue their education they can continue their education so treatment is important whoever gets the cancer or who are children treatment can be done and it can be cured but it has some amount of different sort of treatment when compared to the normal diseases which we face daily the other one is already if disease is very advanced and are this very advanced and how it is um, uh, how to treat that one most of the times we treat them in intent to control the disease and prolong their life that is one sort of treatment some treatments will be like to cure the disease completely and uh, remove the disease from their body and uh, keep them healthy for the next part of the life that is one sort of treatment some children will be very advanced very advanced disease those we will treat them reduce it keep it under control and we will prolong their life it's not them and uh, main important things is of today's program is everyone should be aware that there is one entity called cancer within the society and how normally it will present like uh, the symptoms how they will present and these things are and don't get panicked that today this program has occurred tomorrow fever is there i have cancer no not like that it's not like that just i am telling that these symptoms how they will present is they like some small well swelling which starts increasing suddenly some abdominal distension which starts increasing suddenly those things has to be monitored if anyone is having suddenly bone pain one swelling is there show it to your teacher immediately once it can be evaluated fast it's it's like that normally those things won't occur routinely if anyone is there it has to be checked once and uh, it can be treated properly it can be prevented the best thing is prevention you have to prevent it by changing your lifestyle modifications taking proper food which is rich in vegetables the fresh leaves uh, fresh leafy vegetables and veg uh, fresh fruits uh, avoid junk foods in future stay away from alcohol and smoking be uh, keep it away tell your parents also not to smoke not to drink whoever is who your parents are drinking or smoking or surrounding people tell them not to smoke whoever is smoking it is most important whoever smokes will definitely will get cancer 90% chances are there whoever drinks definitely will get the cancer there is 60 to 70% chances are that they might get cancer so it is very important from now itself these two are most important cause of cancer within india those things are you have to avoid such sort of lifestyle in future it has to be avoided from your lifestyle and second thing is how to get the treatment treatment is available and it can be cured and third thing is even if it is advanced stage we can prolong life over a period of time controlling their symptoms and controlling their problems so thank you if any doubts you can ask me hmm? yeah cancer definitely can be prevented by changing the uh, uh lifestyle but uh, some cancers we still doesn't know what is the reason for their occurrence some cancers will spread through families come from families mother will have cancer the next generation daughter will have cancer grandmother will also be having cancer which comes through generations especially jewish population in israel they will have one brca mutation within their gene so everybody is prone to breast cancer within the family in those families so those things we can't change it will come by genetic risk genetic risk we can't modify anything only thing is regularly we, we can screen them and we can treat them life definitely can be prolonged in 1980s 1990s at that time carcinoma breast patients were never used to they never used to survive properly only surgery used to be done most of the patients never used to get any chemotherapy medications or radiation treatment never used to get their survival will be they used to survive for 4 to 5 years nowadays most of the breast cancer patients are getting cured it is completely cured most of the breast cancer patients are they are getting completely cured even if it is metastatic that means it has spread from breast to some other areas metastatic means it is stage 4 disease carcinoma breast patients with a good disease they are surviving up to 7 to 8 years uh, with the treatment uh, that is a good amount of life 7 to 8 years prolonging the life is 
uh, is good amount of treatment. Once upon a time, they never used it to survive even a stage one, stage two diseases. So it is above your knowledge to discuss regarding stem cells. Uh, stem cells is like a cell which can generate entire any part of the body. Stem cell is a cell which can generate any part of the body. That means you want skin. If you have a stem cell, you can get the stem cells. Uh, from the stem cells, you can generate the skin. If you have a stem cell, you can generate a liver properly. But problem is where to get these stem cells from? Where to get these stem cells from? Most of the stem cells, uh, once from the birth time, when, the, when you are in the mother's womb as a single cell, that cell can generate any part within the body. It will From that single cell, liver will be generated, lungs will be generated, brain will be generated. But over a period of multiplication, stem cell will lose that efficacy of converting into any organ. It, can, it cannot generate every organ. So presently we are using stem cells which are destined to convert into some other specified tissue like the stem cells which are we collecting within our hospitals they will give only blood cells blood cell, in blood many types of cells are there so stem cells give once you take the stem cell it will give into many types of blood cells but it won't give the liver it won't give the skin so presently the stem cells are destined to give some pluri, those are called as pluripotent stem cells they are destined to give only one set of one lineage of organs within the body that is only blood only they will give as of now so presently we are using stem cell therapy, stem cell treatment, autologous stem cell transplant. That means they will collect the stem cell from our own body and they will give it to us. Allologous stem cell transplant is like they will collect the blood stem cells from one more person and they will give it to the cancer patient. This is allologous stem cell transplant. This treatment as of now we are using in cases of leukemias, blood cancers we are using to treat them. And it is one of the best treatment available to cure the leukemias in patients who are very high risk disease and who are progressing on chemotherapy. This is one sort of treatment. It can be used as cure to the cure, especially in blood cancers and lymphomas. Not in all sort of in breast cancer stem cell treatment is not required. In case of liver cancer stem cell treatment won't help. It depends from disease to disease where you have to use that. Once upon a time when cancer 1940s, 1930s at that time, no one knows where the cancer is coming from. There are group of scientists discussing how the cancer is coming. They have to identify you know, cancer, everyone is having cancer, how the cancer is coming. They started uh, to do the research, how to, where the cancer is coming from suddenly within the body, normally multiplying cells. So one set of scientists started telling that it is because of viruses. They told it might be because of uh, human papilloma virus, it might be Epstein-Barr virus and finally they discovered that some of the viruses causes cancer and it is human papilloma virus and Epstein-Barr virus. So then suddenly one set of scientists are working on the other side, they told uh, the cancer is caused by some other causes other than viruses because breast cancer patient won't have any virus infections, lung cancer patient won't have any virus infections. They identified that smoking is one of the most risk, common risk factor in US in 1950s and 1960s. Until that time, no one knows that smoking is harmful and it causes lung cancer. Once the smoking in USA started increasing, they identified their population is having a lot of lung cancer patients. Suddenly, hospitals are flooded with lung cancer patients. Once the lung cancer they occur, they use it to survive only for one year at that time. Less than one year without treatment. So where, where come within within last 10 years so many lung cancer patients we are getting? They started research. Then they identified that tobacco is most important cause of lung cancer. So from then onwards they started awareness programs. They had identified that tobacco is most common cause and they reduced the tobacco smoking within the US population. And now the lung cancer rate has co gradually coming down uh, within the US. So this is one of the important lifestyle that changes the pattern of diseases within the society. One point of time, US lot of population used to smoke and they have a lot of lung cancers. Now to remove that smoking as a habit from the population, it took them 40 years. Now also still the smoking habit used to persist within their population and now once it reduced, then only lung cancers reduce it. So once the lifestyle occurs within the community, to remove it from the society, it will take a lot of period of time. So it has to start from your childhood age that smoking causes lung cancer and it is very harmful. 
and whenever lung cancer occurs it is very difficult to treat lung cancer patients when compared to other cancer patients so smoking is one of the cause and lifestyle is one of the cause virus is one of the cause and many other things like genetic i told in jew population they will have genetic causes causing cancer it is not only the viruses which are causing and there are multiple factors all together together which leads to cancer it's not like external or internal uh, skin cancers are external they will occur on the skin just like that you can remove it by surgery breast cancer is also external only it will occur within the breast you can operate and remove it inside the stomach also stomach cancer will occur they can open it remove the stomach and they can operate it it's not like that internally it occurs even bone cancer is there some of the children between the age group of 10 to 15 years they will develop bone 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 cancer and there will be swelling within the bone that can be perfectly operated and proper processes nowadays many processes are coming we can implant them inside and they will be normal life they will be living even if it is internal it can be operated some of cancers where you don't need to operate is like a blood cancer you can't operate you can't remove the blood now from your body it has to be treated with chemotherapy and lymphomas certain leukemias lymphomas are like uh, you can't treat them with surgery sir that is you have to treat with chemotherapy only you can't operate them that is internal that is within the blood you can't operate them. whichever is properly localized within the body it can be operated and it can be uh, kidney cancer will occur kidney can be removed opposite kidney will be properly functioning and they can live long term survival liver cancer is there one part of liver properly if we cut and remove that liver rest of the liver will work properly and it they will be fine it's not like that uh, it can't be removed if it is present inside the body and outside the body you can remove that one you can remove it it's not like that. Yes, oral cancer is uh, main common cause is uh, tobacco, tobacco, whoever keeps the tobacco on the uh, vodka, they will keep uh, betel nuts, continuously they will keep betel nuts in the mouth and they will chew oral hygiene, these are the most common cause of uh, oral cancer, oral cancer can be treated oral, oral means everything, lip cancer, gum cancer, tongue cancer, everything, it can be operated, surgery can be done. Best thing in case of oral cancer is avoiding these risk factors, avoiding tobacco, avoiding betel nut, avoiding these things from the society. The automatic why do you want why do you want to get a cancer and get it treated? Better to avoid these things and reduce the cancer rate. Human papilloma virus is one of the cause of oral cavity cancer. So those cancers can be treated with simple radiation treatment. They can be cured and they, whichever is not related to smoking, which when oral cavity cancer occurs, which is not related to smoking, tobacco. It can be cured properly with radiation alpha, and they will respond very good. There is one thing called as field cancerization. Whoever smokes, the smoke won't be staying within the mouth only. No, it will be entire oral cavity. It will be goes to noses. It will go to the lung. Everywhere, every cell is damaged because of smoking. So even though if they get cancer here, they might be having cancer at one more place. Even if you treat the cancer which is present here, they might get one more place of cancer after three to four years. Even if you treat that cancer, they will get at one more area. So smoking affects every part of the body. So whoever smokes, it is difficult to treatment. Oral cavity cancer can be due surgery. You can do. You can give chemotherapy. You can give radiation, and it can be cured. Once anyone starts smoking, it effect won't go for a lifetime. A person who starts smoking and smoke for one year, two years, that effect of smoking won't go for your rest of your life. That is their first rule. Whoever is already smoking, if it is affecting me entire my life period, why to stop smoking, they will ask. In between the peop people who have stopped smoking and in between the people who are continuing smoking after awareness, once you have given awareness, two people are there. One is smoking continuous. Two people are smoking continuously. You told one person, you don't. Stop, you told both of them stop smoking. One has stopped. Other one has not stopped the smoking. 
the person who continues to have smoking will have a high chance of cancer a person who stops smoking over a period of time his risk of cancer will come down so out of 100 patients who who has smoked for suppose if you have 50 people has stopped smoking after your counseling and 50 people are continuing to have to continue the smoking the 50 people who are continue continuing smoking might have a chance of 30 people having cancers in future the people who stopped smoking might have cancer still but their their percentage is very lesser only 10 people will have cancer the rest of the 40 people can be saved from cancer so whoever you counsel suggest them not to smoke not to smoke at all at least in front of you not to smoke at all and uh, stopping smoking will reduce their risk of cancer and whoever continues to have smoke will have a lot of risk and whoever has taken cigarette and they smoked over a period of time that risk will be there for a lifetime hmm? carcinogenesis huh? carcinogenesis is nothing but uh, uh, Carcin carcinoma is called cancer. The carcinoma is cancer. Genesis is its uh, birth. That is the meaning of cancer. Carcinogenesis is the mechanism by which cancer gives cancer comes into the birth. Carcinogenic agent is the agent which is causing carcinogenesis. Suppose smoking is a carcinogenic agent. That means once you smoke, it will give birth to cancer. That is carcinogenic agent. Carcinogenesis is birth of cancer. That is many, uh, it can occur in carcinogenesis can be because of many reasons, uh, carcinogenesis, but mainly because of all the factors which we have discussed now. Definitely brain cancer is one of the common cancer in pediatric age group. That means less than 5 years, 10 years age group. And uh, most of the pediatric age group, the cancers are very low grade. Once they can operate that one and remove that cancer from the brain, they will survive very good. Adult patients will have cancer, like 40 years, 50 years, they have developed brain cancer. It is a little bit difficult. They are high grade tumors. Even then operation we will do, but uh, their outcomes will be a little bit poor, poor brain cancer. But it's not like that brain cancers uh, can't be. Low grade brain cancers, they will, brain cancers like grade 1 and grade 2 cancers, they will survive for 10 to 15 years without any treatment. Once surgery is done, they will survive for 10 to 15 years. But adult brain cancers, once surgery is done, you have to give radiation, you have to give chemotherapy. Even then they will survive for 2 to 3 years, but without treatment they will die instantaneously. Normally it is, the problem with the cancer is immediate identification. One thing is uh, to identify a brain cancer externally when you see any person, externally it is how your society screening rules will develop. Screening rules means uh, Suppose if you, if our society is burdened with brain cancer, that means uh, if most of the patients are having brain cancer, then you suggest all the patients who are having one amount of one, one say they are having a dead, get an MRI scan done immediately. So it is not common in our society so much that you have to investigate everyone who is having symptoms for brain cancer. So most of the time they present like they will have severe headache, they will have vomitings without their knowledge and they will have some weakness within the body brain cancer some other obstructing the functioning areas of the body like they will have weakness on one side of the limb or uh, any uh, lower limb weakness upper limb weakness those weakness they will present they will have visual problems so mainly thing is headache and persistent vomitings is one of the cause way of presented it doesn't mean i have headache today by evening it doesn't mean i have brain cancer it's not like that it is the way how it presents and it should be persisting over a period of time then you have to evaluate that one if it is routine in our population like everyone is having every out of 100 persons one patient is having cancer brain cancer means then even one time headache you tell i will ask to get an mri scan done it is not so common in the society for suppose if you take in japan population their stomach cancer is very common there so even one patient they will complain stomach pain they will immediately do the endoscopy within japan japan it is very common so they will do immediate endoscopy for whoever patient is having it. Even without symptoms, they will ask them to regular checkup for from 30 years age group to do an endoscopy. That means even before the disease comes, they want to identify it in the early stage and they want to treat that one. In case of brain cancer, it is not common. And it is every patient if you do MRI, how much the country has to bear the burden of the cost of MRI. 
Every patient one MRI 10,000 rupees. Entire Indian population whoever complains at day if I take MRI how much cost it will come to. So it is risk how much it is incidence how much common within the society and how you have to investigate that one and how much benefit the society will get out of the investigation that you are doing it is important. So brain cancer normally presents with headache and vomitings and weakness of the body like that. It's not like that. Uh, brain cancer will be, it won't come in the entire brain. It will affect, start at one part of the brain, one part of the brain. Brain will have every area of the brain will function, one, will, will, will take part in function in one of the, one of the function that requires for the body. Suppose this part of the brain will control the hand. This part of the brain will control the sensation within the hand. This part of the brain will control the tongue movements. This part of the brain will control my memory. One part of the brain is each part of the brain is destined to one, one one function within the body. So wherever the brain cancer occurs, in which part of the brain it occurs, it affects the problem. Suppose it is my hand functioning area, the, the nerves which are functioning my hand will come from this part of the brain. So if the brain cancer occurs in that area, my hand will be weak. Suppose it occurs in my sensation, where my hand gets my sensation which is grossly, this part of the brain. If it occurs in that area, I will lose the sensations within this area. If it occurs in the memory area, then no. Definitely brain tumor patients, if you give treatment, radiation treatment, there will be some amount of memory loss, so those things will be there. But it's not significant, uh, significant amount. Okay. Definitely. So any one of your parents smoking within our family, tell them strictly and seriously not to smoke in front of you. Anyone smoking outside in public is by law it is a crime in front of you anyone outside smoking immediately tell them not to smoke in front of you whoever smokes in front of you if you breathe those toxic gases over a long period of time passive that is called as passive smoking active smoking is whoever drinks the cigarette and they will breathe their the toxic gases by themselves it is called active smoking some other person is smoking in front of me and i am taking those toxic gases by 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 his side is called as passive smoking but is even one husband is drinking, uh, uh, just regularly smokes. Wife will be there within the house only, you know, regularly. She will also breathe the toxic gases, whoever, whichever he puffs into the house. She will also, is at, she is also at risk of cancer. So, passive smoking is also a can risk for cancer. I was unable to understand. Uh, nowadays, the treatment is called as salvage, limb salvage techniques. Limb salvage techniques is someone is having bone cancer. We will try to salvage the normal limb they are having. In Jipmar, what they are doing is the patients who are having bone cancer, they will take out the cancerous bone. They will take out, they will cut the bone entire that area. They will take it, they will pack it properly in sterile technique and they will irradiate that cancer bone. Completely radiation they will give over a high dose where no cells will be surviving within that cancer bone. They will bring that bone and keep it back in the leg and they will do the surgery. In Jukmar. So no cancer is there. They will use their own bone to keep back inside the leg. So normally this procedure is not so common outside India. So outside India, they will use artificial prosthesis to keep like iron rods inside the bone. Inside the bone, they will cut the bone, they will keep an iron rod or some metallic prosthesis. But it is very costly. The prosthesis costs about some 50,000 to 1 lakh. So within the Jipmar, what doctors are doing is they remove the bone, get it radiated and they will keep back the bone, the same bone there inside the leg. So they will have long term survival. They don't have any problems with that one. Once upon a time, uh, childhood malignancies are common. Maybe most of the times we won't be seeing uh, uh, within routinely outside. But when um, most of the cancer treatments, they will they will get treated at specific areas only. Con cancer hospitals are also not routine. You won't see outside. Most of them will go to the specified cancer hospital. If you take the registries properly, 
they are on the higher side definitely out of 1 lakh they are about 1000 uh, children they are getting affected 1000 to 2000 children they are getting affected with uh, cancer so, so it's not uncommon it is common once upon a time heart problems are most common cause of death within the india nowadays road traffic accidents are most common cause in india and now cancer is also one of the most common uh, cause of death uh, within india which is competing with heart problems and road traffic accidents so drive safely also at the same time if we can identify on the first day cancer starts from a single cell within the body one cell get, will get defected and it loses its control to multiply and it will starts multiplying when it is one cell within the body you can't identify by seeing from outside you can't see a cell even after multiplying of two centimeters patient won't have any complaints within the body suppose they are having some small two centimeters mass within the stomach they can't they don't have any symptoms they don't have any uh, symptoms means they don't have any complaints as such once you identify that one once they ha start having complaints like they are having vomitings by that time cancer size is very big they will be very big so that is the problem with cancer immediately on the day one itself identifying cancer is not possible and identifying a cancer it's not by just i touch and i can i can't tell the cancer is there for that one we have to get uh, imaging like ct scan mri we have to check once we have to do endoscopy like uh, one tube we have to keep going to the stomach check whether anything is there or not then only we can identify by seeing outside one small two centimeters inside the stomach by seeing outside by with hand we can't identify that one and second thing is it has to be confirmed that it is only cancer many of the even uh, tuberculosis tb also presents like cancer only it will also be like small swelling within the neck we can't identify seeing that small swelling in the neck we can't tell it is a cancer it is a tb we can't tell like that for that one we have to take one small sample from that one check under a microscope whether tb is there or cancer is there we have to check it will take two to three days time and after that report will come one then only you can confirm and start cancer related treatment that's how it will be um that's she or he she yeah uh, oral cavity cancers i told it can be cured it doesn't mean all can be cured it depends from person to person cancer can occur in oral cavity even though cancer occurs one patient in oral cavity cancer the other patient also having oral cavity cancer won't behave the same way Whoever is having oral cavity cancer does mean all oral cavity, that uh, lip, lip cancer, all lip cancers will be of the same like that. If you take them and test their DNA, all the oral cavity cancers, each one it has its own modifications. Each, each one will have different, different DNA changes. So it's not like that one person lip cancer, the same, the other one will be there. Treatment also differs from person to person. One person will respond very nicely to treatment. One person won't respond to treatment and depends on the cause how they got the oral cavity cancer i told you smoking person who is smoking get a oral cavity cancer it is difficult to treat like a person who doesn't smoke and they got a oral cavity cancer it is a little bit easy to easy to treat like you told female might not be smoking still some of the genetic causes might cause it is difficult to treat in case of even though sometimes surgery they do if it is identified at a later stage that is on the higher stage even if you do surgery when it is on higher state, oral cavity can cancers can be e easily identified. One small ulcer will be there, it will be growing, not controlled with medications. Immediately if you treat, it can be cured. Once it grows big, very big, and you start do surgery at that time, the chance of it coming back once again will be high. So such sort of cancers, oral cavity cancers should be treated immediately because you can see and identify them immediately like i told stomach uh, you can't identify inside a stomach if it's two centimeters but two centimeter inside a mouth is very big one it is like lemon inside a mouth you can identify it fast that's what i told once tobacco taken means the risk will be there for entire life i it i told it i i told tobacco once you take it the risk will be there for developing cancer so 
person who is taking tobacco and develops cancer, it is difficult to treat such cancers because their entire mouth is affected with cancer. Even if you do surgery, it might second cancer might develop in other area because entire oral cavity is exposed to the cancer. Yeah, there might be chances that complete resection even if they do, the cancer might develop at one more place after doing surgery. Within one year only it can develop. At the same time only they can, they might be having one cancer here and one cancer on the throat. Two cancers might be there at the same time. It's not like that uh, they will have only one cancer and no other place they won't develop any cancer. One, it won't spread because of uh, uh, DNA, they will be at risk for cancer. One generation to other generation, it won't spread. The risk will spread. Risk means if uh, normally we are not at risk for cancer, but Jewish population in Israel, they are at risk for breast cancer. They are at risk means out of their thousand population, they will have hundred breast cancers. In our population, out of thousand, one or two will develop breast cancer. One or two or maybe ten, maybe. Their hundred to two hundred people will develop out of thousand. So the risk is high. The same risk is continuing over generations in, in, in that population. Our risk is very less. So over generation risk will spread, but breast cancer won't spread from one generation to other generation. The risk will spread. That means the chance of developing breast cancer will be more. Vaccination is only when you can identify the cause which is causing the cancer. Like I told, cervix cancer in India is most common. So all the young females and males below 18 years, they are suggested to take human papilloma virus vaccination. They can take anytime they can go to the gynecology department, request, ask them to have a human papilloma virus injection. It is available, but it is most of the um, Vaccines in India are government supplied. Polio vaccine, anytime ask your parents you have purchased polio vaccine, is free. Everything is free. All vaccines are free. Most of the most common vaccines within India are free. But Indian government is unable to bear the cost to give everyone human papilloma virus vaccine because it is more costly a little bit. It's like 20,000, 30,000 or whatever. To give every person with, within India to give a 30,000 rupees vaccine, it will become more costly. It's not like that. You can approach a gynecologist or a a skin doctor once and you can ask for a human papilloma virus vaccination it can be given and it will human papilloma virus hundred types of human papilloma virus so they have identified only some four varieties of human papilloma virus which are commonly causing cervical cancer penine cancer penile cancer and the skin cancer so that they can reduce the incidence of uh, these cancers within India and best thing is hygiene also once upon a time cervix cancer is because of hygiene regular screening methods regularly cervix cancer they are screening and they are identifying at early stage and they are preventing the cervix cancer by screening also it's not sure i told you that's why there are many viruses which will cause cancer most common viruses which are causing cancer are prevented by vaccination that means only four viruses they are preventing by vaccination there are still hundred types of human papilloma viruses but whether the vaccine give you advantage or not how will you check they have identified one lakh population they are treated with they are treated with vaccination one lakh population they have not treated with vaccination out of the population which they have treated with vaccination many people are not having any cervical cancer and of the one of one lakh population which they have not given vaccination they identified they are having most number of cancers that's how it is These investigations are still going on. There are some pamp some of the investigations they told that uh, electronic mobile usage might cause brain cancer but uh, not yet confirmed in any of the major studies. Uh, when you can tell that it is a cause for cancer, you can tell only when you observe it, identify it in a study and you can tell that is mobile causing cancer. So you have to make some 1 lakh people not using mobile for entire lifetime and you have to check one more 1 lakh people who are using mobile continuously. Nowadays in this world it is very easy to get the people who are using mobile continuously. For 1 lakh people you have to you make them not to use mobile for their lifetime. Then only you can identify that these people are getting more cancer and these people are not getting cancer. As of now no studies are there to show that mobile phone usages they, are get, they will get brain cancer.
definitely red meat red meat animal fat are one of the risk factors for colon cancer that means intestinal cancer regular junk foods indian food is the best food you take normally we won't take idli dosa and even it's not about you people only even we people are became like that that's why lifestyle once we get it will go over generations over 40 years 50 years it will be like that only we have to change back to our normal routine food like idli dosa now which we prepare at home nowadays we are not eating at home only every time outside only outside what they are using we don't know what oil they are using we don't know completely burnt oil for over 24 hours burnt oil is a carcinogenic agent animal fats are carcinogenic agents red meat is a carcinogenic agent they are important risk factors regularly if you take them there is a possibility of colon cancer so junk foods has to be reduced normal our routine fresh leafy vegetable fresh fruits are most important in reducing the cancer risk it has it is one of the risk factors So, thank you very much uh, and I thank everyone for giving me this opportunity to interact with you people. What is B? Uh, what to say? Some aerated drinks like uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola. All those are not good for life. Okay, this cancer was not there in the olden years. Okay, of course it was there, but it was very rare. But only these days we see that our lifestyle has changed. That's what we keep on telling you. Our lifestyle has changed. Most of you take tonic chicken at least seven days in a week. Am I right? Okay, seven days in a week. Okay, very soon you go home. You are asking for uh, some lace packet or uh, chips packet. Okay, all those are the main reasons where uh, you get yourself developed uh, at some point of time you are suffering. So food culture is very important. Okay, consume what is being prepared by your parents. Okay, eat what is being prepared by your uh, mother. Okay, avoid uh, outside foods. I hope so that will be the right solution so that you can avoid cancer. And uh, treating cancer is quite, uh, what to say, quite very difficult task. You have to go on a very big sufferings. Radiation, radiotherapy is not so easy. Okay, it is better we uh, take a prevention before cure. Okay, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have got lots of information right now. Okay. And now, the thing is that we have to propagate this information to the public. Okay, we children are there to pass on the information to the public. So now, uh, 30 students out of this team. Who are 30 students? Huh? Only the boys. Only the boys. Okay. We consider girls a week. Okay, we are scared that girls will just fade down in the hot sun. Okay, are you strong? Yes, sir. Do your strong then we'll see. Okay, fine. You don't want to take any, you don't have water in hand. So, we can't take any emergency. So, now I'm going to go for a camp. That is, I'm uh, going to go on a rally. The teachers will be taking you on a rally. Okay, so you'll be traveling, uh, you'll be starting from our school and uh, you'll be traveling across uh, the parallel street, what is called as Tamari Nagar Bhagavad Street. You'll go straight there and uh, you'll come around our uh, stadium near to our primary building. Come back in the same Bajaj street and take your way to Alain street and uh, cross the public in Alain street and you come back to school. Okay, so you will be issuing pamphlets to the uh, public and uh, you will be given uh, the slogans that is uh, what we call as uh, placards. Okay, wear the placards and uh, give a proper uh, awareness to the public so that they will also know that they have to be precaution about cancer. Okay. Everything can be stopped, but the only thing is that awareness is very important. So, the team of doctors from Jipman and the volunteers of cancer have uh, come all the way to our school believing that we have to correct the younger generation. Correcting younger generation is very important. Okay, and today's younger generations are getting spoiled by lots of reasons. And if you are able to change, you can go and change your parents. And if you can go and change your parents, you can change your neighbor, you can educate your neighbor. Okay, and that way they can keep on educating the others uh, who are, uh, whom they meet each and every day. Likewise, if we keep on doing it, finally, this particular disease can be eradicated in a very fast time. Okay, so for that, they, we need a small awareness uh, campaign. So now, you boys are going for a campaign. Okay, shall we start? Yeah.